Kanye, get down. Kanye. Kanye. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a do-it-yourself oatmeal mask. This mask is amazing to clear up your skin of any discoloration. It hydrates your skin, it softens your skin. And if you're somebody like me who doesn't like to get darker than they already are, are. This mask is really good to relieve your face of sunburns and bring you back to your natural tone. It's also good for any skin discolorations. So if you're also like me who get random dark spots on your skin or if you drive a lot and the sun is always beating down on one side of your skin so one side of your skin is always tanner than the other side of your skin, this mask, it really helps to even out your entire skin tone because it has oatmeal in it. And it's not just a mask you can use on your face. I recommend this mask to pregnant women to hydrate your belly if cocoa butter isn't cutting it. When I was pregnant and I was around six months was when I started doing this mask all over my skin like at least twice a month. I didn't do it every day because I didn't get so big when I was pregnant. But who do get really big, this is an amazing, amazing mask. My mom had six kids who doesn't have a stretch mark on her. And at the time, she couldn't afford cocoa butter or any of those oils that are made to help with stretch marks. So all she would do was use this mask. Take my word for it, this mask is amazing. So in a nutshell, if you have really dry skin, use this mask. If you have a really bad sunburn, use this mask. If you have uneven dark spots on your skin, use this mask. If you're pregnant, use this mask. I'm only going to be using it on my face today because it's just my face that's getting super dry. But you could use this mask literally anywhere. So let's get started. You're going to need oatmeal. Just the plain oatmeal. I don't want you guys putting maple brown sugar instant oatmeal on your face. You're going to need milk. Whole milk preferably and honey. So the first step in this process is obviously mixing your ingredients. gonna be applying your mask. You're obviously gonna to want to coat your whole face and as much of your neck as you feel comfortable doing and you're gonna to want to do it like so. And your third step is obviously going to be to let it dry. Now this step is probably the hardest step just because I'm somebody who isn't very patient and this mask does take around 10 to 15 minutes to properly dry. So you're not going to want to move your mouth a lot because you will move the mask and it's going to prevent it from really hydrating. So basically that's the only thing you're going to have to do. You're just not going to have to talk or move your face a lot. Hi Lupe. Okay bye Lupe. So while you're waiting, you know, as long as you're not moving your face, you can do whatever you want. You can pet your cat. Uh, you could let your cat pet you. Eat a bagel. Learn to play the ukulele. Learn to play a bagel. That's your prerogative. Whatever you want to do. As long as you're not moving your face. Step four would obviously be rinsing it off. 
I would recommend you doing it in the shower because it gets quite messy. But if you want to, you can just wash it off in the sink. Do you want me to? Sh I think I'm gonna shower it off. Yes, I want to shower. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this mask helps you the way it helps me. And I'll catch you guys.